Good evening, everybody. Evening. 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 Welcome to the third Are You Haunted Ghost cast. <laughs> Numero three. <laughs> How have we lasted this long? Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised we're still on air. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the uh, Are You Haunted Ghost cast, this is a half hour's worth of total chaos and madness where we talk about the fact that I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Right, <laughs> oh, Bloody hell. Bless you, <laughs> Phil. All over my screen. Start again. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go for I tried it. Tried to stop it, but it didn't. Got a bit itchy nose. Yeah. Oh. Two and a half. Yeah. What the fuck? He lost that up his nostril. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which size right. is that? I thought it was shorter than that. Evening, guys. Evening. Hey, hi. Are you all right? Yes. Hi. You okay? Not bad, thank you. Good. Welcome to the third Are You Haunted Ghost cast. Ooh, number three. 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 <laughs> How? Three. I have no idea, and I'm surprised we're still on air, Dale, to be yeah. honest. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this uh, ghost cast before, what ensues is half an hour's worth of chaos and madness, <laughs> where we discuss one of the uh, episodes that we've filmed and one of the venues, what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. Uh, we also have a news topic for the day and we also have a topic of the day just to confuse you even more <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough it is jane's turn oh. to bring all this information to us for us to discuss so hold on to your hats guys this might be interesting <laughs> over to the lovely i thought it was sarah from over to jane <laughs> <laughs> evening jane Evening all. Hello. Evening, Jen. So, um, the episode I've chosen for tonight, I've chosen for two reasons, really. The first reason being um, that every single person who attended had experiences at night. There's no one who felt they were sidelined and nothing was happening to them, which, you know, is quite interesting. And secondly, Wayne, this, this one was from um, season one. You weren't actually there. However, I'm really, really interested now that you've spent time working with us as a team uh, filming so you know exactly how we work um, and from your opinion from actually watching the episode what you thought of the night as, a, as, a, as an observer um, so the um, episode I've chosen is Thorn Workhouse oh. uh, yes Thorn <laughs> Workhouse in Doncaster that's the one so on the back of that I would like to start with you Wayne if you want to give me your opinions on what you saw as going through that evening and what you thought Right, so I think uh, watching the episode as a viewer, I think it was the total reverse of uh, the Keefe Streets, where we came away and got all the audibles later. I think on that particular night, you were getting them all the way right from the beginning. And it yeah. was constant all, all the way through. You were getting bangings, footsteps, doors. And I think what, what was peculiar is the doors all had the big heavy closers on. So yeah. obviously they're designed to keep shut. They're not designed to open yeah. because it's a it's a fire thing. Um, you could account for where everybody was with the different views on the cameras. Um, I think my favourite bit from <laughs> from the episode was uh, Sarah and Ben in the corridor, which I just think is absolutely <laughs> classic. Ben sat there saying like, "This guy's going. I wish to go behind the door." And Ben's going, "No, no, I'm, I'm fine where we are." I think we should go behind that dark door. You can't go for that door. No, but you can go behind it. I hate round though, there's no one to sit as well. We well, just go and have a look, see what's down there. I've been down there. You just don't want to go because it's dark, do you? It's really dark down there, like really dark. There's no lights or anything. It's like no outside sight. Excellent. Shall we go? Oh god. <laughs> Come on. No, really fascinating episode. Um, did, some of the did stuff you notice, what you've got. Um, did you notice that we had no CCTV that night? Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I didn't notice at the time. No, no, that's that's a good point, yeah. It was um, it was a massive snowstorm outside, wasn't there? Mm. And um, I forgot to pack the CCTV. <laughs> so Sarah and I went back in the car to attempt to get back for it, and all the roads were blocked. We had to turn back round. So we really were on handhelds only that night. So that's I what made that. it even more, yeah. more interesting for me. Yeah. Phil, what did you think of that one? Ooh, just banged my microphone. I'll uh, 
Say that again, Jane. Can I have your opinion on that? Oh, no, that you don't matter. I'll just cut into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give you less time then. Um, <laughs> 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 it, it was horrendous weather that's what i do remember um yeah i mean absolutely awful outside but the venue itself was totally surprising uh what what we got there um i wasn't expecting it to be perhaps an awful lot of activity or incidents going on throughout the night but um it's one of those venues where it does throw stuff up at you where you, where you weren't t- totally you know, unexpected. Uh, unexpected, um, Like the, yeah. those footsteps when I was, we just finished doing uh, the interviews and talking the, the, yeah. the group, yeah, the group um, chat and I just packed all the stuff away and you guys had wandered off into the big hall part um, and there's clear as day, footsteps, somebody walking upstairs on the corridor and shutting the door. And I'm like, what the hell? And uh, I was kind of a bit perturbed that none of you guys were around. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a bit stroppy. Stroppy, stroppy is the word. word. Not yeah. like you, not like you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No. There's a dog who's been shot in footsteps who's just walked upstairs. Shut up, man. I'm, I'm kidding you. You're a pilot? Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, I've got no camera. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't say that to camera now for us. You just caught me saying it. You should be going upstairs and seeing what there is. Come on, guys. I haven't go. got a camera. Go. Let's go. Go. Come on. <laughs> but, um,. Uh, what a great venue and uh, it's uh, turned out to be one of the, the favourite episodes of people watching the series I think I was yeah. really surprised that we didn't get any activity virtually in the in the big um, hall place has anybody else noticed that I mean, we, mm. we didn't spend an awful lot of time in there in the end did we no, no it was no. very quiet wasn't it yeah yeah Ben what did you think of that night I think uh, it was a bit like looks can be deceiving because normally when you think of like a haunted house, it's all like fall to pieces and spooky and actually scary. But you walk inside and it's like quite humbling and nice in there. But it's all obviously been dressed up and it's all still being used. So we can't, when I went in, I remember thinking it, that it's just going to be like a regular regular night, not anything too spectacular is going to go on. But it seemed all night loads of stuff was going on. And I think at some point my mum decided to uh, start running next to me and push me <laughs> down the hallway. Hello? What? What the hell? What? 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 Um, I think it for me it was when we were all I think you and Dale were still upstairs and then um, me Ben Phil and Tim were down in that little bar area and there's a bit where that door along that corridor you you hear it open yeah and it was that for me because nobody was in that area nobody was near the door um, you guys were upstairs so it was just the fact that it opened there and then it was just and, and then I think, again, the corridor was just mental, wasn't it? If you're out there, come and show yourself. Try and shut this door if you can. That's that door opening. That is that door opening. What, what door? Dale, Dale, please tell me that you've been still. You know when I radioed you? Yeah, where's Dale? It's still, it's still. What was that? Shh. But yeah. I have to say that yeah. when me and Ben were upstairs and we were in one of the office areas, that's when you had that moment where we heard first the little sort of, <laughs> <laughs> the sort of little yelp from yourself, Jade, and then the Dale scream, the classic yes. Dale, Dale scream. And me and Ben kind of looked at each other and went, what was that? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Dale, Dale, brilliant. That's about you it as well. Pray your lungs quite a lot that time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, what a night. Um, what a place. As Ben says, it's so unassuming. Uh, you could drive past that place day or night and not think anything of it. Because um, it's effectively quite a modern look building. It's not, as I say, it's not like a, a typical haunted house mm. kind of thing. And you go in there and it's well decorated, it's modern. And for what we got in there, just surpasses itself. 
on all levels. Um, the, the, the outstanding point for me, there's two. Um, one, you full well know in the corridor, <laughs> um, the, the, the origination of the Dale screen. Um, that, yeah, that, <laughs> for, for that door to open, when, again, at the point, the rest of you, um, Phil, Sarah, Ben, Tim were all upstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, there was only myself and Jane downstairs in that corridor. And all of a sudden, well, no, what it was, I saw a shadow go past the door, the door which, yeah. which blocked out the light. Uh, and then all of a sudden, a few seconds later, the door flipping opened. And I sh- myself. I love the part where you're going towards that door when you're going to the bar and Jane says, Dale's been all brave. And then yeah. there's a knock from the other room and he's like, okay, no. So Dale's going all brave. Jesus Christ! <gasps> well, this is no, this is this is my second part. This is my second outstanding part. As I say, the first bit is the corridor. The second bit is that um, where we hear this noise. So Dale's going to go all brave and we Check creep along, and all of a sudden this bang comes from the crew room. Um, and Jesus Christ, it, it was a it was a proper bang, wasn't it, Jane? It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, them two are, th- are my outstanding moments, definitely. <laughs> For those of you who haven't heard the Dale scream, it, <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting part as well is like what we always say: a lot of activity, what you were experiencing, were when you were not even calling out, you were just no, actually no. doing something else, setting up, yeah. or, or you know, we always say this, don't we? Is when you're just chatting between yourselves or moving about, and you you got so much activity without even actually have to call it out. Mm. Well, we were, we were filming experiments in the large room, weren't we, that we didn't end up using any of them in yeah. the end. And then, but all night, it was just footsteps, footsteps, banging doors, opening doors, closing doors from all areas. What a crack is place. I'm it sure, was. do you know what? We had that much footage from that. We could probably make another episode of it. Yeah. With, with the unseen bits. And I remember as well, we were uh, doing the group talk and we just kept getting interrupted over and over and it took us ages to actually do it because uh, of so many knocks and bangs. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 because yeah, if you remember, if you watch it back, I turn around and say, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> well, any, any of you could have cut in it. We're introducing quite you first. Yeah. Well. For the okay, and now here's the fun part of the ghost cast, as if you were <laughs> expecting anything other. Um, <laughs> We are going to be playing at some point during the ghost cast, Would You Rather? Uh, which means that Sarah has a countdown and she's going to set the countdown going. She's not told us how long it's for. There you go. There we go. It's down there somewhere. Yes, she is pointing <laughs> to her counter. <laughs> um, and she's going to set it off. And when the alarm goes, we're going to have to choose whose turn it is to ask the question to each of us, Would You Rather? And believe me, it's quite interesting. <laughs> <sighs> right, and now <laughs> the news. So, as usual, we share a lot of paranormal stories on our social media pages. And Jane, you found one for us this time. I have indeed. So, this one um, was captured in India. Um, I'll give you I don't think it's a Chinese lantern though uh, Dale uh, oh, just damn. the first thing uh, <laughs> Not in so India. if you want to have a look at this and uh, tell me what you all think <laughs> so then Sarah let's start with you what do you think to that it's a bit of a weird one. It, stories come from the Metro. Um, I've had a read on it, and um, they don't seem to have an awful lot of information other than it seems to be that we've got um, some guys in India that are celebrating, bizarrely, in a petrol station, as you do. Um, oh, it's the end thing. Yeah, is it? They just um, hit ten pound on the dot in one uh, go. Yeah, That's what it not was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not the penny. <laughs> yeah, break out the celebrations. Um, I think it's some sort of either. I'm going to say smoke or vape, which is quite dangerous being next to petrol pumps. But 
That's the only thing that I can think it is because as I've watched it, it seems to come in front of some of the, the, the objects in the background. That's that, what I yeah. thought. Okay, well, we're, we're on the same page then, aren't we? Yeah. I'll see what everybody else thinks and see if everybody, anybody notices something else. Go on, um, Wayne, what did you think, my dear? Um, yeah, like what Sarah's saying there, the only other thing what you could say is it's some kind of reflection, reflecting off something, what the mm. camera's picked up, you know, since before where you see like an image what's been reflected from or something else. Um, so I'm thinking either a reflection or, 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 like you say, something smoke coming from some direction, so might miss something coming in. Mm. Dale? I don't think any of that. I think it's too, it's too obvious. I think... Don't tell me you think it's a Chinese lantern. <laughs> <laughs> took it right out of my mouth. Uh, no, I, I, th there's too many apps out there that do paranormal appearances make ghosts come in pictures and videos and such like and i think it's simply something like that i think someone's just played a trick that's my take on it when when i look at it a bit of jiggery pokery going yeah on. it's a bit too obvious it's, it's, pokery. Okay. it's a bit too so, it's a bit too solid to be smoke or vape or whatever you know what i mean because it, it, it moves in a a solid form kind of thing rather than disperse um so yeah i think it's jiggery pokery ben <laughs> I don't think it's jiggery pokery, um, as it does go behind someone's head. So that'll be a lot of effort for just like a simple app to do. So that's kind of put me off it being just something plastered in. But when I first looked at it, I thought it was like a reflection. And I thought there's like a big like mirror kind of thing behind them or a big bit of glass maybe. And as I've looked, there isn't any glass. So, but what it looks like in the reflection is someone running up like behind the camera, like running away. And it kind of it, it has the shape. It kind of like moves arms in that way as well. But that's the closest I can bet. But it's not glass there. I don't think any of you noticed the guy on the left hand side watches it. Oh, I didn't notice that. No, I never noticed that. No, I've never seen that. I, oh, I noticed that they are. I thought it, I <laughs> sure, you did. Of course, you did. <laughs> you know, I, hey, I I'm think... a professional. Of course, I did. I you didn't notice anything first. <laughs> I think it possibly is a reflection. That was my first thought, but the fact that the guy sees it and watches it go past has made me think, well, oh, okay. there could be something in that. I can't so, say I didn't notice that. So was that, he looking behind? That's... Behind the group? It, like, it like followed it round. Oh. What, so his friends are on his on his left and he looks past his friends yeah. behind them? He looks past his friends and, and follows it round slightly. Not all the way round, but he, he, he obviously seeing what it is. He's seeing it. Mm, okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but if that's the case, just to, just to throw the cat amongst the pigeons then, if he's watched it, and it's a ghost. Why has he not gone? Oh my God! There's a ghost. Yeah. Why has he not said something to his mates? Uh, not saying it's a ghost. I said I still think it could be a reflection. I got uh -oh. it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's time for Would You Rather. <laughs> I don't know what I'd rather be doing. <sighs> Yeah. In that wheel. In that wheel. <laughs> Let's have the spinny wheel titles I worked ages to get sorted. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you'll agree that spin the wheel uh, graphics there were brilliant. Uh, I'm just going to get up on my phone the spin the wheel app if my phone will behave itself. And now I've got to enter the f***ing password for security <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you'll all agree that those spin the wheel graphics were fantastic. Here we have a spin the wheel app. And I press the button and it spins and it chooses one of our names. You can see there, there are names here, okay? <laughs> Who will it be? This is so excited. I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> careful, Wayne, careful. That, that bristly bristly beard of yours will give you cuts <laughs> I did say cuts okay ready it's Dale 
Oh, oh dear. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh, so lantern, so lantern. Go on. Would you rather have X ray vision or magnified hearing? What? You've had a week to think of that. <laughs> Hey, take him piss, Wyman. Stop swearing. <laughs> no swear. Okay. Um, who are you asking for? Who's going first? Oh, um, Wayne. Oh. Um... <laughs> Don't look so excited. <laughs> um, X-ray vision. Why? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, what are you thinking? That's why you do not know what I'm thinking. I think we do. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh my mind's gone somewhere else now. <laughs> what um, the next cubicle? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave. We'll just leave it with X-ray vision. Why? In, in a minute, we'll your mind room. go where? I, my mind's going. If it dare. That's disgusting. Um, Jane. Um, the the hearing, um, because if I could, that's ironic. Since you can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> I wouldn't need the the X ray vision if I had the hearing because I could I could hear what was going on around corners, so I wouldn't have to know what. Or you can hear a wall creeping up on you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phil. Uh, I would choose x-ray vision. Why so? Um, because I could walk past the bank when they're doing the safe cracking opening thing, get the combination, and then somehow spend the next 50 years thinking of a plan to get into the bank to open the safe. <laughs> Genius. I'm, I'm looking through the walls of the prison cell. <laughs> He's got in for robbing the bank. Yeah. yeah. It'd be handy, though, wouldn't it? If you're doing, like, P DIY or plumbing, you can say, oh, we'll stick that nail there, kid. There's a great big pipe. That's genius. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bonus. Um, ben. <laughs> X-ray uh, vision or magnified, magnified hearing? Yeah, magnified hearing. Ben's Absolutely. already got magnified hearing. He hears loads of stuff that we can't hear. Well, right. say, why so, Ben? Because you've already got that. Go on. <laughs> because sometimes I just... When there's so much noise going on, sometimes it just it all gets drowned out and becomes just sound to me. So, so you just want to magnify into one specific yeah, thing, right? Okay. It's like sometimes when I've been at work, because all ovens are going and all people are shouting and people are trying to shout me and I just can't hear anything. So if I can I just focus on things better when I'm listening, it'd be a lot easier for me. Okay. Sarah? <sighs> it's so really tough. Can you turn them off and on? I don't know. I'm going to say no. Yes. I think... No, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, you've got to get there. Yeah, you wouldn't better get to sleep, would you, if you'd got well, that doesn't... hearing oh. thing going on? No, but you can't say that in the question you asked. You'd be listening to what, like, owls and stuff outside. and You could see him as well, your X-ray vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, I would say X-ray vision, and then I can lay down and just look at the stars on the night through the roof. Nice, I like that. That's a romantic answer, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Better than Phil's a realistic answer. one, really, is it? But let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dale? Oh, for me, it'd have to be ex uh, No, no, it wouldn't. It'd have to be magnified. <laughs> Why die? Why die, Dale? Why? <laughs> Dale, he wants it. He wants it. I just said the wrong thing. My x-ray vision works then. It disappeared. <laughs> no, I just said the wrong thing. I I I'd like magnified hearing. Why? Why? Pure... Because if you said x-ray vision, is missing a clatting round head. <laughs> <laughs> Purely because I'm a nosy bugger. And I just like to hear what people are saying. I like to listen to conversations. I'm a people person. I'm a people watcher. Oh, you might so hear I like something to... you don't want to hear, Dale. There's always a risk in that, but you might see something you don't want to see when you've got x-ray vision. Oh. Imagine walking into a bedroom with Phil in there with x-ray vision. Jesus. How many times do you walk into our bedroom? <laughs> I'm thinking of you, Sarah, that's all. So, that, yeah, that's why. I, I've, I've got this... Want... This image oh, of us like eating dinner and looking across and you just see Dale just staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Watching your food go down your gullet. <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, look at all those noisy eaters, Dale. You would be able to cope with that. <laughs> Not if you'd got that hearing. There'd be all that noisy eating yeah, going I don't on. I don't necessarily mean just in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> Did you just know this was going to happen? <laughs> no, but I mean, I don't want to hear people eating. There's Carry other reasons for me. Um, magnify. You might, you might be able to hear them next door and all. You know. Oh, I can hear them anyway. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. It was ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, should we get back to discussing this uh, news story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Then. Better. <sighs> so, <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, the, the little bit about the guy following the uh, what I probably think was a, a reflection, um, I found most interesting about it. So, what do we all think? Is it a thumbs up? Is it a thumbs down, Sarah? Thumbs down for Sarah. Mm. Phil. <sighs> Phil is disappearing hand again. Dale. Ben. Oh. Mm. Uh, oh. 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 Wow. Jane. Oh. Mm. I think mm. it's. I think it's unlikely, but the the chap is making me just give a middle, 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 And as you know, it is now time for Topic of the Day. Take it away. Okay, Jane has the Topic of the Day. Topic of the Day. Topic of the Day. Topic of the Day. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> so, my topic of the day is doppelgangers. Don't you swear at me. So, obviously, doppelgangers is <laughs> going to be an apparition or double of a living person in and in English and, and German <laughs> folklore. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. They were um, they were thought to be harbingers of doom. If you saw one, uh, you were probably going to die. Or uh, then more recently, they were known as just a bad omen. Where probably in modern day, there's not many people take much notice of it, and they're just people that you've spotted that look like you. So I'm I'm more interested in the um, folklore type of uh, answers. So what do we think of doppelgangers? And I'll start with Ben this time. I've not heard any of this uh, like cursed and bad omen thing before, so this is all new to me. I've seen, seen people having doppelgangers, doppelgangers before, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> doppelgangers. Doppelgangers? Seen <laughs> I've, I've seen them before, and it's it's scary how like similar people do look. Like I'm pretty sure there's like a doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> Doppelganger or not a doppelganger. It's not my doppelganger. Really. A doppelganger of everyone out there. So I don't know if it's so much a bad omen, but it's been very cool to run into one. Well, fact that they say that there's probably a one in a trillion chance of you've got at least one person who is your double on Earth at the moment because of the numbers of people. There you go. And, and what they're saying, if you see that person, it's bad luck to you. Well, well folklore, it used to be, I mean, it comes, it's, a, it's a German word, and, and it was the fact that if you saw your doppelganger, it was like seeing a wraith, something like that. It was a really bad omen. If you saw one, something was bad was going to happen. If you saw it again, you're probably going to die. What if you're a twin? It's unlucky, not, isn't it? Yeah, but a doppelganger's not related to you. Oh, okay. And, but believe to be a paranormal, a paranormal... Um, entity, if you like. Right, okay. So, this person walking along, this person's walking along, and they both look each other, look like each other. Yeah, thank you, Wayne. <laughs> and they both spot each other. Which one is the evil one? Yeah, which one gets the bad luck? Well, this is this is your two planes of thinking, Oz. This is your modern version, where it's just somebody who looks like you, 
and then you've got the the older version which is where you've got a paranormal entity right so one's a paranormal entity and one is a real person yes okay so sarah what's your thoughts about doppelgangers and have you ever seen your double no quite just simple answer to that no I haven't. <laughs> people say there's a couple of people that look like me, but I wouldn't go as far as saying they're my double. Yeah, you've had. I've had sort of. That's like, as close as I get. I've had somebody yeah. say, like, they, they think they know me and things like that, and then they, oh, you know that kind of thing. But I've never had. I've never seen anybody that looks like me. No. Well, Not anymore. The uh, viewers, um, <laughs> I've got any views on on the folklore version of of doppelgangers and have I will. Viewers? I will, I will say, sorry, Jane, I'm, right. in, I'm doing a Dale. Um, <laughs> what about Dale's scream then that we heard at ah. Haunted Down mm. Where it wasn't him in an image, but his voice. It was his voice, wasn't it? We have got night vision. Dale is screaming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wonder if very good point. I'll have to have a Google and see if you can get um, instances where that can be classed as something similar. <laughs> Doppelganger voice. Yeah, I mean, it if, sounds. If you look at it from that point of view, if there was two deals, I mean, that would be bad luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so could, yeah. Could really, I, could really. <laughs> especially that close together as well. <laughs> I uh, I reckon that the, 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 the scream was somebody who just looked himself in the mirror and thought, bloody hell, I'm like that sodding Dale. <laughs> <laughs> just happened to be in Hinkley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool, what's your somebody, on it? somebody that heard that you were in Hinkley, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they obviously came looking for me because they were that excited. <laughs> oh, that Dale's in Hinkley. That's <laughs> oh, not what I meant. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bill? Ah, oh, doppelgangers. Uh, a couple of things. One, the world's going to be really lucky if there's two of me. And, uh, <laughs> and two, uh, I don't believe it. So Believe it. No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I can see where it's, it'd be seated in old, old uh, folklore because we were a lot more superstitious back in those days. Yeah. And well, um, you, wouldn't seen, you wouldn't have seen as many people back in those days because you don't have the travel like you yeah. do now. You'd literally like you'd have a few villages and you might go to one village or another village. You wouldn't be up and down on a train or a plane or anything. But that could be why it was more of a superstition because there were less people. So the fact of seeing someone that looks exactly like you was more unlikely. Does this apply to animals? How could it? I don't know. Same. Because how, how could it? It's like, if you see a black cat and then you see another black cat, they just all look the same, don't they? Yeah. You get wild, I mean, wild grey rabbit. You get another wild grey rabbit. They don't look really different. What I'm on about is a black cat walking in down the street and sees another black cat. <laughs> <laughs> or does he think there's a glitch in the Matrix? Yeah, but he's probably never seen what he looks like. We, we can't ask Cats him, though. Cats look in mirrors all the time. What? Cats look in mirrors all the time because they hiss at themselves, don't they? Yeah, they're like that. <laughs> they probably know what colour they are, at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty they? sure they know what colour they are. Well, that's certainly what, they yeah, see, they would do. They see different colours, don't they? So what if it's a grey cat and a black cat? <laughs> well, if they see different colours, they're going to see one that looks the same, the same colour as they see themselves, surely. They'll see, see more colours. Well, cats have an opinion anyway, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> This is having a bad week. Got some bad luck. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that was Jane's topic of the day. What a doozy. Well, I'm sure you'll all agree that that was an interesting ghost cast. Uh, <laughs> ghost cast number three from the Are You Haunted team. <laughs> Three, yeah. Dale, you've got webbed fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm from Mansfield. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm joking. I'm from Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> the next Are You Haunted Ghost cast, uh, the person bringing the topic of the day and the news article and the investigation venue for discussion is going to be Ben. Ben! <laughs> who is to me? Who is to me? Is down there. Is nestling in my loins. No, that way. <laughs> I'm here for me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that will be coming up in two weeks' time, and I do hope you'll join us for that. And I hope you've enjoyed this ghost cast. Um, thanks very much for Jane for bringing those uh, bits. Well done, Jane. Well done, Jane. And uh, you, you surpassed our expectations. Oh. I'm a now. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll start again. So, thanks very much to Jane for bringing her in the. <laughs> thanks very that. much to Jane for bringing in the bits and pieces for this ghost cast. You've surpassed all our expectations, Jane. Well done. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. And the next ghost cast will be in two weeks' time. Uh, if you have not seen Thorn Workhouse episode, it is series one or season one, episode three. Please do catch it if you've not seen it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in two weeks' time. Stay safe and take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>